And so he's causing that much trouble, huh? Huh. That's a shame. I thought this guy was different. I thought he was honest about his intentions. What I want you guys to do is to teach him a lesson. Grab a couple of shovels and do your worst. Uh oh, baby doll. I didn't realize you were around. Hey, can you do me a favor and let me finish this call? It's for business. What? No, no, I didn't say anything about shovels. No, I'm serious, I... <sighs> fine, fine. Forget about the shovels. Just rough them up real good for me. Yes, I'm sure. Hey, do I pay you to ask questions? That's what I thought. Now get to it. Come on, doll. I told you to stay out of my work affairs. It's a big job, you know. I gotta make a lot of tough decisions and I'd rather not get you involved. <laughs> See, that's what I like about you. You're the only person willing to say no to me. It makes work a pain in the ass sometimes. But I suppose it's a small price to pay. You know, sometimes I can't tell if you're willing to stand up to me because you're brave or stupid. <laughs> Either way, I'm into it. <laughs> hey, I'm just joking around. You know I love you. <sighs> yeah. I had another client back out on me. Cowardly little shit tried to take my money and run. But he won't get far. We own this town. And we know where everyone is at all times. <laughs> it's hard not to get upset with these kinds of things, Angel. You know how much I hate cowards. They talk the talk, but when you actually go to challenge them... It's a shame, really. If they could just toughen up and learn some humility, a lot of cowards would make great business partners. <laughs> change is only possible for people who want to change, doll. I like the way you think, though. If I had it my way, I'd shape up every last one of these crooks. Uh, you see... There are three types of criminals in this world. The first, and most common type, is the one who is forced into it for survival. I can't blame those people. It's not like they had much of a choice. I can even relate in a way. I was born into a mafia family, and ain't gonna change that fact. Plus, they usually lay low and leave the criminal life behind once they're able to get back on their feet. And that's just how I like it. They show up, do what they need to do, and leave. No arguments, no backstabbing, no issues whatsoever. The next type of criminal is the vigilante. The one who realizes that the world is fucked and takes matters into his own hands. Now, these guys I can respect. Sometimes you need to set the world on fire in order to force a change and they ain't afraid to provide the kindling. In terms of business, they can be annoying to deal with. Each one has their own moral code, and you gotta be sure not to break it. But if you can do that, they make excellent clients. The last type of criminal is the one I deal with way too often. They ain't doing things for survival or for the benefit of others. They're just in it for themselves. I cannot stand those pricks. They're usually rich, famous, influential. They already have it all. And yet they're looking for more. Makes me sick to my stomach. Greed is a disease. And I'm disgusted every time I see it. Ah. <sighs> But you know, spending time with you after a long day of dealing with trust fund babies and spineless politicians makes me feel so much better. 
You have no idea the effect you have on me. <laughs> Which type of criminal am I? Well, I suppose you'll just have to answer that for yourself, won't you, Angel Face? Hey now, you're a smart girl. I'm sure you can figure it out. Hmm? What kind of question is that? It just came out of nowhere. I mean, two seconds ago we were talking about criminals, and now you want to know what I think about when I look at you? Hey, I never said I wasn't going to answer. I can't upset my baby doll, now can I? When I see you, when I look into your gorgeous eyes, I think a lot of things. First, it reminds me of when we first met. You were eating at that shitty pizza joint my family runs, and I was handling business in the back. It was a normal day until I came out and saw you. Now, I'm not one to believe in love at first sight, but damn. For weeks, I just couldn't get your gorgeous face out of my head. I started keeping a closer eye on the restaurant than usual, just waiting for the day when you'd return. And when you did, lucky for me, I didn't even have to strike up a conversation. You approached me first. <laughs> it's no secret that people are intimidated by me. Even before they knew about my family. So seeing you walk right up to me proved right then and there that you ain't a coward. And I like that in women. I also think about the time that you first met my family. Again... They all carry a certain aura about them. They ain't easily approachable. Yet you stood tall, even when my old man was grilling you for information. Yeah, he could be a real pain in the ass sometimes, but he also wants what's best for the family. He wanted to test your guts, and you passed. Congratulations. The next moment that comes to mind is when I finally told you about the family business. To say that I was nervous would be the understatement of the century. What? Even your big, scary mafia boyfriend gets worried sometimes. Especially when I'm about to expose the family's secret to an outsider. <sighs> As I expected, you weren't on board with it at first. But then, you started asking questions. You were curious, and you wanted to make some changes. For an outsider to come in and start demanding changes to make our business more ethical, let's say I was impressed. That kind of drive in the face of danger made me go absolutely wild for you. Nah. And then I think about our future. Our beautiful beautiful future together. Doll, look at me. I'm making a promise to you right now. I promise we're gonna fix up the shithole of the town. We're gonna do what the government and the cops refuse to do. We'll get the spineless crooks off the street. We'll bring in funds and rebuild everything that's broken down. And we'll run this place better than any politician could ever hope to. Besides that... I'm going to spoil you rotten. No, I mean it. I'll get you that fairy tale wedding you've always dreamed of. I'm going to find you a ring worthy of an angel. We'll have the best photographers, chefs, planners, decorators, everything you could ever need for a wedding. And it can be held wherever you want. I'm serious. Be thinking about that. Where do you want our dream wedding to be? Somewhere fancy, like Paris, or perhaps a more tropical place like Hawaii or the Bahamas. Or perhaps you want somewhere with more history, like Rome. Anywhere you'd like, baby doll, I'll take you there. Mm. We're gonna make it, Angel. We'll be on top of the world before you know it, and we're gonna make the most of it. I can see our future now, 
me running the family business, you staying home and taking care of our two amazing children. They'll have your eyes, and of course, your beautiful smile. <laughs> we'll raise them right. We ain't gonna let them fall down the path of a coward. Instead, with your kind heart and my knowledge of the crime world, they'll be unstoppable. <laughs> a super villain backstory. I like to think of it as more of an underdog origin story. Kids born into a crime family taking the reins of the business and using it to make the world a better place. Just like we're gonna do. Together. Huh? You figured what out? <laughs> See? I told you you were a smart girl. You just played me like a damn fiddle. I love you so, so much. More than you could ever know. Now come here, baby doll. Mm. Hello everyone, it's Prince Cairo here, and I just wanted to thank you all for listening to another one of my audios. I know by now most of you are actually about to click off, but I do want to say something before you all do that. Thank you. And I, I know that that's what this part of the video is for, but no, truly, like, thank you for even being here and hearing this message. It truly does mean the world to me. I feel that sometimes when I give thanks, it seems like a formality rather than a truly meaningful thank you. So thank you all so, so much for listening to all my audios. It means the world to me. Um, I just recently got a, a community guideline strike, which kept me from uploading for a while. I really wasn't able to do anything with my channel, and it's a shame I wasn't even able to update you guys and let you all know what was happening. The only people who knew anything were those over on Patreon, and that's like not even like a Patreon plug or anything. Like That's the only place that I had the ability to reach out to my community, because I hadn't... Um, made the attempt truly speaking outside of my youtube to make sure that my community had a place to reach me and that's entirely my fault to that i have also opened up a uh, ko-fi page for anybody wanting to donate to me and don't feel pressured to, to do anything like that that's completely just like voluntary you know for anybody who absolutely wants to I mean, I'm super grateful to everybody out there, even you watching my videos, you know, helping me on the algorithm, leaving the likes and the comments and all that stuff and the shares and all that. That helps me out tremendously. So don't ever feel pressure to contribute financially if, you know, it's not something you're truly 100% set on doing. And yeah, um, it's just another way to support me and support the channel since there won't be, well, any YouTube monetization coming anytime soon. So I figured I'd, you know, open that up as an avenue so I'm able to, of course, continue to support myself and the channel and, uh, of course, continue making the great content for you guys. Be sure to check out all my socials in the pinned comment below. And yeah, this has been pretty wordy, so I'm going to uh, thank you all so much for listening. A special thank you goes out to all my patrons, especially my precious pets over there. Jing Liu Owo, Toka, With His Face by Austin, Michelle, Nikki Pele, T. Briscoe, and Ghost. Thank you all so, so much for listening. I have been Prince Cairo, and remember that your prince loves you all. Mm -hmm.